I come across a lot of weird screws, and it seems like every one I say, well, this is the worst one. This is the worst one. <laughs> this is the screw that is the nemesis of all sharpeners, and we're going to talk about that. Now, if you're new to my channel, uh, Benika Shears, I'm Bonnie McGowan. We talk about sharpening, primarily sharpening for hair salons, but also groomers and other sharpening that might come in here. And, um, you know, the number one thing about sharpening, especially on beauty shears, is the tension. And if you can't get the tension right, I don't care how good a sharpener you are, those shears aren't going to cut. So, let's look at the missing part UFO screw. So you're going to see me come in. This was a shears that came in today, and this one happened to have some missing parts. It was a UFO screw, and we're going to look at some of the issues I had that day. There's some that have come in that have been a lot worse, and if I get another one like that, I'll be glad to share it with you. So let's take these little bad babies apart. And this is why it's good to have several different UFO tools. Neither one of these will fit. Um, that's the German one. This one, this is too wide. That's too narrow. That one's just right. So I'm putting it in the holes. And let's see what's going on with this screw. Because first of all, you can't do anything fixing something with a bad screw. See if I can get this thing out of here. It's really super loose. Oh, well, there's one of our problems. There's no what I call internal clicker plate underneath it. It's just a plain washer. So I don't know if the last sharpener lost it or put it in on the wrong side. Well, let's take it apart and see what's going on. Sometimes you'll see washers in between the blades, but I'm not seeing that this time. But let's take going to have to find the part that fits in here. And let's see. You never know. Maybe it's back here. He might have put that piece back here. Nope, there's no washer back there. So, let's assume this washer fits on this side. Yep, it does. And I'm going to address that rod line in here. I'm not going to go any further until I can find the right size clicker plate to go with that screw. Now these are my two most common sizes for these small shears like this. And if you notice, they have like a little nipple that sticks up. And I've got to make sure that the nipple or noses um, stick up. Let's see. And usually, if one fits, the other one will fit on these. Let's see if this is the right size. Yeah. So that, that, that one works. Just for the fun of it, let's see if this round one works too. Yeah, either one of those will fit in here. So, I know when I finish sharpening, I can put these back together and they should hold their adjustment. And this is the tool I need. I'll put that in my cup as well. Okay, that goes over the peg. Maybe that'll be just the right amount of space. Yeah, that looks better there. Looks better there. And goes on here. And you notice how I'm doing all this without closing the shear. Now some people put them together with them closed. Uh, that's, you know, if that's the, your best way of doing it, if that works for you, that's fine. What you don't want to do, you do not want to put them together with them half open and half closed. That's when you get in trouble. Because the blades will wiggle, hit against each other, and before you know it, they are nicked. And then you've got to start all over sharpening. Yeah, this one's going to work, I can tell. And you'll feel it clicking 
you'll feel it clicking in there. So I hope you liked the video. Hope this was helpful. You may want to put it on a playlist so that you can refer to it later if you need to. And um, any kind of weird screws that you get, or if you have suggestions on how you would have taken care of the screw, put it in the comments below. Uh, we always look for questions and comments and uh, just um, hang out. Come on and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I uh, hope to see you maybe sometime in the future at a training class or something with Benika Shears. So gl glad you stayed with us.